Now he said that, so now also Christ shall be magnified. That means, you know, it cannot be he should be magnified. Magnified, you know, you, you, you put a magnifying glass on something, it draws it closer. And in the Greek here, it's talking about, he's talking about in his body, in his spirit, he ain't down. Are you listening to me? That's the Lord Jesus Christ. Where he said, in my what? You see, you see what I'm talking about? Huh? Whether it be by my life, about my death. Now, brother, that's, that's some powerful words coming from a mighty God. Come on, give God some hands for the mighty of God. He's talking about if this is the year of transformation. This is the year of expectation. I expect to raise on my job. I mean, listen to me. His people go to the job, so I don't want to be a supervisor. I want to be the boss if I can. Hello here. I don't know about you, but praise God, I want to get paid. They can't pay me enough for what I do. If a right. person tell they satisfy their money, go put, put a cop through in they. <laughs> <laughs> My God, do you hear me good? Give me, I, I want more. Yeah. Huh? I want more than pay. Amen. Sure. I want more than paying me. Amen. Do you hear me good? Amen. I'm sorry, but I ain't. So y'all, give me some more money tonight. Raise whatever y'all gonna do for me. So I, 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 I ain't a good preacher. I didn't even know. I know. So I thought you was all right. Amen. Well, you be buying them darn locker tickets. I mean, y'all people been on that that that. that. At that service station, by the thing strapped it off. I seen old lady, but she couldn't walk with me. I didn't know what she was doing. She old lady just talk to her, give me the red, give me the red. What are you talking about? It's fair, a dollar, two or three dollars. I seen her, and she ought to slip up all when she goes. Oh, no. And you gonna do, and you gonna do some work for this coming. Well, you know something? I'm gonna fix it. Go back in. I said everybody's gonna fix it. Go. Hello here. Amen. 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 Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. So you know people can get mad because you basically hold you too long. I ain't holding you nowhere. You want to stay here? Look, if you get through before God gets through, go sit in your car and go home. It don't matter with me. God still gonna be God. He not gonna preach from being God. <laughs> huh? Oh, they take you up to the hospital and put you in that straight jacket. Then you be whispering, man, I sure wish I could go to church. Then after about a month, that stuff, then you got the needle, I sure wish I could go to church. Yeah, if I can just get back to church, all right. So, yeah. He's the words about my life, about my death. For me to live is Christ and me to die is death. The man of God is to live it. If I'm living, it is Christ. If dying, I'm gaining more. We're getting to that better. But why did he say this? So when we go back here to the 19th verse, he said, For I know that this shall turn to my salvation. 1 and 19. For I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer. The supply of the Spirit of Christ Jesus. Because he's in prison. And here, this man can be in prison and have this kind of faith. This man can be in prison and write letters like this. And we too busy with too many distractions. Change it this year. Change it this year. If you want God to do something for you that he's never been before, you got to get in a position with God that you've never been before. Are you listening to me? Here we say, say get out of the spout where the glory is flowing in. And I need to get on the spot where the glory is flowing in. I need to get on this spot where the glory is small. And when I get on this spot, I know I'm going to be mad. I'm going to magnify God in my body. You got to be If you listen to me, the wrong the reason Peter didn't receive the Holy Ghost is because they they were expecting it. Yeah. Jesus had given them a word to go tell you in Jerusalem, not in Samaria. But my husband won't let me go. 
I said, now what he's going to do is go to hell. Are you listening to me? Because I'm going to do what Jesus told me to do. Huh? Now, where are they going? Expectation. Expectation. They pregnant. If you're not pregnant with expectation, you're not going to birth nothing. Because it's got to be the divine time. Hmm? When you look at Matthew 1 and 25, 23 there, he said, his name shall be called, you shall, you shall bring forth a son that shall call his name Jesus. Yeah. She already named him before he was even up in there. Come on, give God some name. <laughs> now, she can come with expectation that she's going to have a baby one of these days. Amen. Huh? She's going to have a baby one of these days. It's the same. You go to a job and they want to do a, a, you know, take a, 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 a test and see if you got drugs in your body. And some people won't take it, you know what I'm talking about, because they're full of drugs. Oh, and dope. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I told me I want to take this job. He said, we got to do a urine test. I said, y'all taking the kidneys or what? <laughs> Are y'all taking, what, you taking for a person? What's wrong with y'all? He's old. I said, I ain't on drugs. I ain't take, take no medicine. I ain't take no drugs. That's 20 some years ago. I ain't take no drugs. What do you want to do? What are you looking for drugs? He said, Well, I'm talking about marijuana. I said, Are you crazy? Amen. Don't do no mess like that, man. God did not deliver me from that. Come on, somebody. Give God some Thank you. <laughs> Don't allow your mind to thank God that he's done his best for you. See, this is why people don't expect nothing. They don't allow their mind to thank God that he did their best for them. And let me tell you something. He's, he still has your best. Is next. Are you listening to me? Don't get in the mind and say that God has done the best for you because he still has his next. His best. For you. So we done came out of this year, out of last year. This year we ought to have some expectation. If you don't, then this is something wrong with you. Not talking about getting your big old self fat. You know what I'm talking about? You wore 10 last year, now you, you, you working on 15, and then you were 19. <laughs> Church. These people always lose the weight and they don't even let nobody else find them. They just lose it and pick it back up. Go down the road to the refrigerator. Lose the weight. Go back to their room. Come back and the same pick it back up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Praise. Let's give you some praise. <laughs> Come on, you guys. <laughs> 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 in prison and we don't even get in prison. And we come to God. I'm telling you, church, please, I'm actually, I'm, 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 I'm pleading with people today. If you come in this house with a spirit of expectation, you would never go back home the same way. Never, not one day. Not one day. Anybody ever went to the grocery store to get anything? Amen. What you do? Go with expectation. Amen. If one store ain't got, you know what you're going to do? Go oh, to another one. Amen. And if one store too high, you know that, oh, I seen that over at Kroger's cheaper. Amen. You win. <laughs> you expect to pay cheap for quality. Don't give it to him. Amen. I'm telling you the truth. You see, you, your mindset and perception is things that, that, that it gets us in trouble. Yes. You know, if we want to be in a position to encourage other people, mm -hmm. don't steal from them. Okay? Mm -hmm. Don't steal. Don't steal from God. Mm -hmm. Stop. Stop. God will kill you. Mm -hmm. Are you think this ain't going to go to hell? According to my Bible, now, maybe you got nothing. Mm -hmm. But now God, God, liars and thieves, Fornicators and adulterers and so on and so forth like that. You can't get to heaven. I know your mama told you a little black lie. 
But every time red, when you get <laughs> this year, make up your mind. The Lord, I'm going to stop lying. Because it ain't just that, it's people lie to themselves. Amen. And this is a bad problem, isn't it? All right, now you're not all right. Are you listening when your relationship is ragging with God? And we're sure what we're talking about just a few seconds. Yes, Are you listening to church? Amen. Do, don't you want God to don't you want God to grow in you? Amen. Do you want God to grow in you? Amen. He can't grow in you with your lives. Amen. It's people, I told you, I knew this a lot. It's people, they'll get a husband or wife and say, I'm not fornicating no more. Well, you can fornicate without. Physical, because God says you look upon one. I know you still look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that same person will go to your life. See, because they measure them their own self by themselves. They make their own standards and still doing like Matthew um, James 1 and 25, living into the perfect law of liberty. That's a mirror what you're looking at. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to me, church? Amen. Now, I don't let the devil hear me good this is with anybody that if you really have a relationship with God, and I don't know if anybody don't see me. Mm -hmm. Now, if you think you don't see it, then when we'll present you with this Bible, and again, we'll find you in it. That's why we repent every day. Are you listening to church? Amen. But see, I don't let the devil put nothing in my mind. So when you know what you did, I repent it from that. Amen. Hello here. Amen. I repent it. I repent it. I mean, I I have got this song. Amen. Now, if you can sin against God and don't be sorry about it, you need to get saved. Hurry up and quit. Hurry up. Is that, is that a correct word? Hurry up and quit? Or quick and hurry up? One of them. Somewhere. Is that okay? I'll talk to you English people. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Now, what, what I'm telling you here is Paul is in prison here, and yet he's talking about that he got an expectation. An expectation is a great virtue to have because that's, he says, earnest in my hope. Mm -hmm. And this is what we talked about over there in Ephesians 3, 4, and 4, that the Lord is my hope and sick my soul. Therefore, I have hope. This expectation. Because you read Lamentation 3 and 20, he says, pray God, when I call to my mind, therefore, I have hope. Check out your mind. See, that when you got to get something in your mind. Amen. You can't let the devil destroy. See, it, it's, how do you do that? You got to meditate upon this day and night. If people don't have time, you don't get no way. You just think the preacher's going to lay hands on you while you run out. Or, well, maybe you ain't been sick. You will get sick. Amen. Hello here. Amen. Anyway, what was it? So, when you walk with God, Yes, maybe because I'm around, I'm walking with God, and it may look like I'm not going nowhere. Here we go. So you understand what I'm saying? And I'm thinking about Joshua, the sixth, seventh chapter, the six, sixth chapter of Joshua. Now, in that round that I go, I get a little higher. That's what we ought to be doing with God now. Amen. This year, every round that I make, I go higher Hallelujah. and higher. Amen. Every round I'm going, I'm going higher and higher until I get there. Glory. Hmm? Glory. You think me, man? Amen. You see, every, you cannot let the devil suppress your mind. Amen. I don't care what the, the doctor, I don't care what he tell me. If you tell him that, you tell him you got six months there. I said, well, shut man. I'm going to serve God. I'm going to believe God. Amen. Come on, somebody. Look. Yeah. 
Doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. The, the doctor is not the final word. Amen. God is. Amen. Somebody Amen. said God is. Amen. That's the you right now. Because of the expectation. You can't let nobody acquire uh, uh, your expectation Amen. of what Amen. God can do for you. Amen. I'm not talking about what you run around that sinner like going down and not thinking the way that you ought to be and not letting God do something for you. But you let you know, I'm, my God, I'm looking for that spout where the glory is flowing out and I'm staying up under that spout until I know I've got something for somebody to say something. I'm looking for spiritual recovery. And my God, I'm looking for everything because this is what Paul is talking about. I'm expectation and my expectation is of the spirit. God's a spirit and I'm going to worship him in spirit and in truth. You might not understand this, but tell God it doesn't matter. If I jump up and start shouting and you say, what you shouting about? Well, I ain't got time to tell you, but you don't want me to shout because I'm on fire and I put the burn in you, Lord. I don't care. I don't care. Don't you say that he says, pray God, I shall, and, and, and I shall be ashamed, and nothing shall be ashamed. Yeah. I'm not ashamed to praise God. He can have Paul said, Romans 1 17, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Who got it? Huh? Christ. I'm not ashamed of it. And we've got people, my God, you shame the days. You shame the pray. I don't matter where I'm going. Right. My God, did you hear what he said over there in the book of Psalm 24, 1? The earth is the Lord. And they that dwell down in it. Huh? And that to if I'm in the world, the earth went well. And my God, I'm, I'm in a place supposed to worship God. I do like this brother. I do not say, okay, if I ain't got music or not. In spirit and soul, in melody, in your heart, to God, in your Bible, just like the Lord. Come on, give me a good day. Don't take all your black teeth out when you won't have nothing but good. <laughs> don't talk about it. That's the way I did that, but, but you don't understand. I don't understand it. I don't understand that. Yeah, man, but I so enjoy breathing it. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Now here this man is in barn up and how can he have this great joy? Amen. How can he be encouraging other people? Thank you. you know the worst thing happened to me one night when I worked in General Motors, man, and uh, praise the name of God. And I was coming in the hallway, that guy tell you, so I like to give you receipts because Geno Jennings and all these guys, please get this. Geno Jennings, he get this stuff. He write letters to himself. <laughs> and then he said, uh, he'll have Dan to read the letter. Uh, well, Pastor Jenny, we want, he done wrote them to himself. <laughs> See, that's what he wants to get. Yeah, he wants to talk about something. He'd write the letter to himself and then have Dan to read them like somebody wrote them to him. But if I tell you, I'm going to read the address. See, we have the receipts. That's what we call receipts. The receipts, okay. But you know, the brother, he lived up here. You go to West Haven over there and turn. When you go across that track, his house back in the bushes there. Uh-huh. Are you listening to me? Amen. And so I come into the well, one night and I walk, and uh, he always be, be working on the machine right there because he's already at work. Mm-hmm. And he said, hey, rep, hey, rep, hey, rep, hey, rep. Because he used to stop by. Every time we have a fish fry, he'd stop. He didn't give me no money. He'd stop by here. Mm-hmm. Y'all probably didn't know him, but he'd stop by. He'd stop by. I said, y'all have fish fry. It's okay. I'd be on him a lot because he the one that spent about $30,000 trying to grow some hair on his head. And he, he said, the woman said, I ain't gonna take no more of your money, brother. That's the desert. But <laughs> anyway, he told me, he said, he's angry, he, he, he he's what's wrong? He, he, he's walking with the hair. And I don't know, I just, I, I forgot about it. I'm always looking for a get there, and I see him, and we be talking. And that bothered me, I said, man, I need to go to Psalm 3 and 3. Yeah. Amen? Are you listening to me? Yeah. And so I'm like, he's my shield. Yeah. He's my glory. And he's done a little bit of a my head. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Up in your heart. We have a hand up to help us. You don't need to get your father to do you. We got a hand lift up to help us. We got a hand lift to help us. Oh, man. Look at him, man. I don't know what's look, man. What are you talking about, man? We got a hand. Up. 
power. Yes, He's our shield. He's our glory. Yes. If you don't like that, you go to Psalm 84, 11. My God said he will not hold nothing good for them that walk with their right form. What is that? I'm a day in your court. Hey Amen. I'd rather be a doorkeeper yes. in the house of the Lord than spend one day in the court of the wicked. Give God the way you want to Come on, people, give God the way not be happy with Jesus in your life. Huh? I'm not saying you can't help us when we, you know, if you know how baby, we're trying to have it and free you to death. Okay? Praise God. We'll have you quit no long trouble. No. Praise God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. You know, I like you got no hot flash of me. We run your flash out of the Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If I ain't sweating, you ought to be sweating. I ought to sweat. You understand what I'm Keep yourself in condition. Run, jump, quick, jump, jump over tops and stuff, and yeah, turn cartwheels and do stuff. That way, you preach on <laughs> preach. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What is wrong with him? That boy, hit him in the back. Hit him in the back. What's wrong with him? What you doing? 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 What you That's not preaching you still? Well, you're going to get expository preaching here. Yeah. I don't write out stuff and keep it for you to stay off next week or next year. I got my old paper, the notes, and written out. I don't do that kind of stuff. It's already written now. And when I come in this house, I'm looking for God to talk to me because he's the one talking. Did you know what Jesus said over there in the book of uh, somewhere, like Luke, praise God, 418, my God, he said, for the spirit of the Lord is on me. Why? Because he's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Huh? He's anointed me to preach the gospel. My daddy is going to you My daddy is going to have my children to me. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. You listen to the church. Amen. Amen. Then go buy me a church. A building called a church. Then make me a preacher. No. Father is different from a daddy. No. Father means originally. A daddy can be anything. Come on, give God. Give up being a preacher. You know, you just, you know, because when we get God. As we left, and maybe we didn't, we're going to achieve all the things we need to achieve. We never do. But we always set goals. Yeah. And I hope we do. Yeah. Spiritual goals and stuff and so on and so on. Can everybody understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And some people, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't set goals. And uh, they just do a lot of crazy stuff. And maybe, you know, it's time to what the Spirit tells me. There's some people that be feeling pretty good about me. And they'll come in, I might be saying well, a couple of things to them. Then they'll say, Now, how do you let the devil deal with you? Like that? This is a year of stopping. Yeah. Hmm? Don't argue with the stop sign. Just stop. <laughs> Don't argue with the stop. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> and you'll see, you walk in big. Right. You, you won't have a testimony just by you have a testimony about how you help somebody else. Hey, hey, you understand what I'm saying? Hey, you have a testimony about you how you help somebody else. Hey, hey, That's what Paul talking about. I'm going to move. Because I want you to see here that Paul, he let everybody know. I want you to look at the 16th verse, please, mm -hmm. if you don't mind with me. He said, but he said, one preach Christ of contention. You don't want to argue and stuff. I don't do that kind of stuff. Not sincere. What are you doing? He's supposing that he is adding affliction to my bond. See, he's in jail, man. Yeah. We in jail, boy. Uh, don't get my poor hurt. They put you in the wrong. No, they don't put you in there for something wrong. He never fake up something wrong. Like your name, Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. you know but, but see, church, please hear me. Somebody said, I ain't not a part. We, we can see that. <laughs> but he got something for us, amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. 
Now, I want you to see this so you understand what he's talking about in the 12th verse here. Because he said, but I want you to understand, brethren, that the things which happened to me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel. Yeah. Now, he, he, you see what I'm talking about? So, whatever, you ought to be willing to grow. Now, if I'm just looking at that, then I will go to John 16 chapter, 15 chapter, and find out that I need to grow there because Jesus needs to prune me. Yeah. Hmm? But I need to abide in the branch. Yeah. Hmm? Do you understand what I'm saying? Because yeah. I need growth. Yeah. I need growth and he has to cut things off of me yes. so I can grow so new growth can come. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm telling people, it's a lot of people, they don't want real honey, they want imitation honey. Yeah. What am I talking about? Because they're scared to get stung by the dumb bees. Well, my God, that's the chance you got to take you want to get done money, man. You, you don't have to get stung or take a chance. If, if, if you want to get the honey, you got to, you have to fight the bee. But see, if you cracked enough, that little old bee, because Sister Harris, she was camelated, but my God, she was like a wall. See, she was running in it. And down wall, how much bigger is she in the wall? On that no one wall, no one. Now, if it's a dumb cat, uh, 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 <laughs> oh, fraud. Get over this stuff this year. Get over it. Anybody here work in the hospital? Anybody in the hospital? Anybody work in the hospital? Yeah. Do you ever see anybody in a fraud? They come to the fraud building. What happened, brother? You went home one night. What Friday night? Went home. That my pretty sister. Man. Brother, she called me. The stuck her all the way, brother, all finger. She went out to see the frog running and jumping out there in the house and caught the thing and stuck the right in the man thing. I said, Lord Jesus Christ. A John frog, nigga, she is. John frog ain't gonna do nothing. He see you coming. He be trying to get out your way. Were you, were you afraid of frog before you came to the second voice? Oh, no. Now you say, oh, no frog! Oh, no. I'm done here with you, Please, I'm just trying. Please, please. Have you ever read 2 Timothy 2 and 7? For God have not given us. Maybe you ain't none of us. Maybe you got none of us. <laughs> Please, Jay. No, look, look, be brave. <laughs> you had to pull that boat. He said, no. I'll tell you just a more quick, quick. I think. Come on. Look, man, I was going out of the road. Now I'm washed, got up in the truck. You know? <laughs> Well, I always keep me some towels in my truck. I'm speaking to people. I said, let me tell you something. This truck is big enough for both of us, but you can just stay on your side. I said, I'm right. Now, you get over in that one, and you stand over there, and when you get that one different, I let them let you out of here because we have more room, man, because you're probably going to die. <laughs> but I wasn't scared of it. I wasn't worried about it. You know, I mean, I know if Sister Harris been there, she can talk to one of them, jump out, and, and, and make the car, and, and everything. Hey, this year, listen to me, church. I, I want you to please everybody. Listen, this year, kill a spider instead of tearing the spider web. Amen. Okay? Amen. You see the spider web, that means a spider. Find the spider and kill him, then take the spider web down. Instead of cleaning the spider web, I gotta clean it out. Down spider got some more web for you. Okay? <laughs> 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 See, that's some problem you can deal with. Are you listening to church? But God 
wants us to get into a position where we expect. You just think, always expect something from God. Yes. I don't know about you, if God bless me to lay down tonight, I expect to wake up in the morning. <laughs> do you expect to wake up? <laughs> See, everything we do just think is expectation. It is God's divine time. It's a, this, this is divine reset. This year is divine reset, divine restart. Whatever happened, we need to get it that fixed. Yeah. Whatever we like it, we need to get it that fixed. Yeah. Are you listening to the church? And God wants to do it for us. Everywhere you see some people wait upon the Lord. And we talks about old oh, then in Isaiah 40 and 31 about them that wait upon the Lord shall renew. We don't even believe that stuff. Now here we are with some old poor soul that's going through something. We don't believe we're going to, well, the Bible said, uh, uh, wait upon the Lord. And then the one got the most problem, okay? Don't say it with no vigor. Don't say it with no, you know, say, God say it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know, God said it's so pitiful this fall down. <laughs> God said it like like you've been through it. Right. Amen. Say that you've got some vigor in it to choose it. God said, them that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Yeah. She's a mountain with wings equal yeah. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. Not just yeah, the person just going through everything. Yeah, yeah you done made them feel more sorry. I feel sorry words. <laughs> <laughs> We changed this year, isn't that right? Amen. Uh, are we going to do that, amen? Amen. We're going to have to change this because when we really believe and, and serve God with expectation, uh, 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 it, God will, he'll pause that chaos that we going through. Now this is what Paul, he will, he will give us a pause in our spirit that we want. That the chaos will not be as great for us. He will pause that chaos when we Got some expectation. I don't care how it look. My spirit is crying in me now because listen to me, man. I'm the one. I've been through everything. Thank you, Lord. I've been through everything. Been through so much. Yeah. The lowest person on the block, but I just could not believe when I was coming up that I was gonna stay like that, man. Oh, me and me and brother was talking, man. I tell you right now. See, some of you, my daughter never experienced it, man. We put our clothes up in the wall to keep the air coming in. Are oh, you listening to me? We put the newspaper on the wall. We all stood around the fire. We didn't have nothing, man. We didn't have no refrigerator. Even then, we didn't have nothing to go in the refrigerator. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I know that, but I never would let my mind be. I seen some old people with something. I said, now how could they get this stuff? If they got this stuff some way, somehow, when I get me a job, I'm gonna buy me some of it. Come on, somebody. Let's talk to you 